Hello and welcome to Professor Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to change app icon and how to add a splash screen to your Android application within Android Studio. So in our previous video, I showed you how to build an Android app and how to convert your website into a WebView app. So I'll be using uh, the same app and uh, I'll show you how to change the app icon and how to add the splash screen to the same app. So let's start. So here was the app. Uh, let me show you um, by starting the emulator. I used Android uh, Nexus S uh, 30 API. And here you can see the app icon is the cross and this is where from uh, you can change it. So uh, this was the icon. And if you click on the app within your phone, then this is the application without any splash screen. So splash screen is actually a screen uh, which is just uh, opened before your app is open, your actual app is open. So here is my website. This was the website which I converted uh, from website to Android app. And this is the mobile look of my app. Okay, let's close this. And uh, let's first change the app icon by uh, going to Android Studio and here, this is the app launcher. Uh, first, let me open the folder. Uh, my Android Studio folder is Android, uh, sorry, D, so here my folder and the Android WebView App Master. Come to SRC, click on main, res, and drawable. So, uh, we will place our files here. I copied this uh, icon, the main icon.png, and I'll copy this and paste it. Uh, within the drawable folder, which will be used later for the app icon. So uh, open your app and in Android manifest.xml file, click on uh, here the uh, Android round icon, uh, sorry, the Android icon, remove everything and type, start typing at the rate of drawable and all the resources will be listed here. Uh, when you type M, then the main icon is there. Just double click or press enter. And you can see the main icon has been changed already. Uh, okay, now the next one is Android round. At the rate drawable slash main icon. And these uh, both icons are now same. Uh, if I reopen the app, then terminate the previous app and it will load, reload the app. Let's just close it uh, to see the app icon here. You can see that my uh, study icon is now my Android Studios app icon. Now open drawable, right click on drawable, click on new and click on resource file, drawable resource file. Uh, we will name it splash screen uh, because we will uh, build this Android uh, XML file for our splash screen. So uh, let's type the name as splash screen so we will remember uh, what this file was for. Click on OK. Okay, here, uh, first turn it to the code or if you want to see the view already, then split is okay. <coughs> first change the selector layout to layer list and then type item. Android dot uh, Android semicolon drawable and main. We will use the main icon as our splash screen icon and gravity is center. Gravity means uh, where you want to show your icon on the screen. It will it will be in the middle when you type center. Okay, let's close the item. Add another item. Or just cut these elements and add an image. 
bitmap and add those things here type android drawable at the rate color black uh, sorry white and change the bitmap android drawable to src which will be the source of this uh, bitmap and let's remove okay now add another item bitmap android src is equal to at the rate drawable uh, let's just add uh, an image uh, i added an image uh, called main icon uh, sorry main icon was uh, already there we will add another icon let's copy my secondary image which is my website text which is self study help dot png so uh, it's called logo dot png and it's already there let's close this bitmap uh, gravity is centered also for this one uh, sorry bottom it's bottom so uh, it will be below the main image close close the tag the bitmap tag now in the main activity dot java click right click and click on add new class uh, class name will be splash screen uh, just to remember uh, where you are working so after creating the splash screen class we will copy the override function or from our main activity extend it to app compact activity here press enter and in the main activity class copy the instance or just let's type it at the rate override then protected void on create start function and within on create click build a bundle and space save instance state click on bundle to add uh, the library press alt plus enter on your keyboard and it will import the android library now within the protected function call super dot on create then saved instance state new handler dot post delete post delete is for uh, staying on that page for that much time so uh, we will like to add uh, for two seconds that will be 2000 2000 is uh, means milliseconds so this page will stay for two seconds on splash screen and then we will redirect it or we will load the new um, activity which was main activity so first set activity to splash screen uh, sorry start activity new instance uh, sorry new intent splash screen in main activity splash screen dot this and main activity dot this 
sorry class main activity dot class it will automatically uh, convert it to package content now open the android manifest and uh, we will first load the main uh, the, the splash screen activity as default activity so uh, type in activity android name dot splash screen first which will be sorry uh, main activity and uh, the other activity which was the main activity will be the splash screen so by default it will act, uh, load the splash screen here type splash screen which is the class name and main activity is uh, there so uh, within the splash screen uh, in the java file we will load main activity after two seconds just type the app name uh, app domain as well okay now let's start the app and let's find out what's the result terminate the previous action and here the splash screen is blank and then open the self study help uh, this means that the xml file is not loaded come to the main activity dot java uh, sorry the splash screen dot java and uh, here we will load the main activity after two seconds the for the two for two seconds we have the splash screen and then after two seconds the main activity is loaded but uh, we will apply the main activity the the splash screen that uh, style which we drawn on in the drawable so uh, open themes in the values open themes then themes dot xml style name is splash screen parent is equal to let's find it theme dot no not theme it's material component and this one dot light light means it will be in white background item will be that uh, splash screen dot xml window action bar uh, just disable the action bar background which is splash screen sorry uh, android window background will be splash screen which was the xml we built in the start of the video okay uh, and copy the target and paste it within this style now open android main activity android manifest and type style and assign that theme android dot style is equal to that uh, theme file at the rate style splash screen Uh, sorry the theme theme is equal to at the rate style splash screen and let's just uh, rerun the file uh, the app and terminate the previous process click on terminate and here is the uh, xml file which is splash screen for two seconds and then our original app So uh, this was all for today's video. I hope you learned something in today's video. Uh, this was for splash screen and app icon. If you uh, want to see the original video from uh, converting the website from uh, web to Android Studio, then uh, watch my previous video. It's the link is in the description. And if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. 
and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss any of my future videos thank you